What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's DadBod here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Remake. So in the last episode, tragedy struck, and that big gaping hole up there is what used to be Sector Seven, and it went kaboom on the slums. Uh, I was hoping for maybe a different outcome for some of our beloved characters this go-round, but uh, didn't happen. So I'm actually recording this directly after uh, that last episode. Um, took a quick break for a snack, and here we are. So the uh, impact, so to speak, of that moment is still fresh and uh, heavy on my heart. But um, anyway, I guess we're going to soldier on. No pun intended. I'm guessing at this point, um, we're gonna be heading back to Wall Market to regroup and um, launch our assault on the Shinra HQ, I presume. But we'll see what this remake has in store, which, I mean, this remake is pretty much, at this point in time, is perfect. I mean, I can't really think of anything that I I have against it. I mean, it's executed perfectly on all fronts so far. So I can't wait to see what's in store. These guys are gonna attack me? How could this happen? Nope. I didn't really think the hell is going on. Come on, dear. Come on, dear. Oh man. Yep, I guess these are the survivors. I said, where you going? Aerith's house. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. Hey, Tifa, know anything about ancients? I know I've heard of them, at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Could even commune with it, talk to it and stuff. That must be why the Turks wanted her so badly. Within my veins flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. <sighs> you have failed again, I see. It's nothing. Let's go. All right, back to Wall Market. It's like there's a hole in the sky. Hey, pretty crazy, huh? Can you believe this mess? You doing all right? I am, but I can't say the same about my birds. Poor things are scared half to death. What the hell are they doing here? Their jobs, probably. Mm. Just focus on seeing Marlene again. Nothing else. We should go and 
help them. <laughs> wonder if I can go down these back alleys now. I know now is probably not the time considering uh, Barrett's mental state, but, uh, you know, I got to check. I got to check just to see. Ah, okay. I hate to capitalize off this somber moment, but hey, it's a Moogle medal. And I know there's a bunch of other back alleys around here. I might try to seek them out and then go after Barrett. Because this could be my last chance to do so. Sorry, Barrett. <laughs> Um, where are those other alleys at? It's hard to tell from this view. I think there's one over here. Um, that's That might be one by the Honeybee Inn. Um, I think there's a couple others. Maybe one back here, perhaps. Run right here, maybe. Let's see if that's one. Oh, won't let me go there. Okay, fair enough. Maybe Found I can come up. back later. We're searching the compound as we speak, sir. The first thing we need to do is find a place to take refuge. Just the materia shop. I wonder if he's got anything else for sale now. What you doing here at a time like this? Nope. Okay. All right, Bear. We're coming. Sorry. The first thing Just taking my sweet little time here. Well, this is a fine mess. How bad is it here? Compared to Sector 7, we're doing fine. But that's hardly an accomplishment. Is it true that Sector 7 is pretty much different? You guys run into Jesse at the pillar? Yeah. Biggs, too. They were Let both in pretty bad shape. But Wedge wasn't up there with them. He got out. All right. Did he? I don't think so. I guess Tifa just doesn't know. Come on now. There's no need to be afraid. We're all scared. I've been thinking, y'all. We gotta go find the others. Huh? If we don't look for them, who will? Uh, right. Hey, Cloud. I'm gonna need your help with it, too. Right. No way they're alive. Unless he's talking about Aerith. Um, let's see. So this is the road to Sector 5. Maybe I can cash in some of my Moogle medals. are still ringing from it. All right, this here we are. Five, right? So where is this place you said Marlene is? Where I think she is. It's a house on the other side of town. Well, come on then. Pick up the pace. I'm going as fast as you are. I can't really imagine how it looks over there. Just anywhere in the house till safe. Mm -hmm. It's on the TV. Nope. See if I can get back here. No, looks like it's closed off for now. Or is it? Yeah, that's where it's supposed to go, but I can't get in there right now. All right, where's Aerith's house again? All the way that way, okay. Have I completed any of his quests? Cloud, I'm glad to see that you're okay. In these trying times, I hope to develop new materia to help us. Nope. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. That Costa del Sol music is in stark contrast to uh, the actual soundtrack here. All right, well, there's the uh, orphanage. Can I go in here and talk to? No. 
I don't know if house is up this way. All right, check in with Aerith's mama, who don't think too kindly to Cloud, so I'm sh I doubt if this whole thing improves our standing with her. That's the house. Marlene! Marlene! Where's Marlene? <laughs> Is she here? Barrett. <sighs> Sorry, I'm Barrett. Marlene's my little girl. Uh, 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 Marlene, she's got short hair. She's cute as a button, but with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, pink. She was wearing a she's pink dress today. She's sleeping upstairs. Huh? Oh. I said she's sleeping. Uh. I want to see her too. Come on, let's go look in on her. Keep it down. Don't wake her. What's up, Maybe Mama? Maybe you should join your friend upstairs. Okay. Marlene, my baby. Thank God. Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. <sighs> Because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that. She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. <sighs> About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But, he didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went, to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox.
she told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no, this one, right here. I mean, what can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the uh, knock. Huh? Coming! <sighs> no! Go away! <sighs> hmm. Aaron, you know you're not just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. <clears throat> Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! <sighs> but Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home, once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her, too, I don't know if I could, if I could ever. Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, guys. And I am back, much like Barrett, I have a daughter sleeping upstairs, and instead of being about six years old, she is six months old and still likes to wake up 50 times a night. Well, maybe not 50, probably more like 
four or five times a night, but it feels like 50 sometimes. Um, all right. So I guess, uh, let's see where to, where is the map pointing us? Uh, sector six slums. Okay. And is that the playground? Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's going to make me walk all the way back there after coming all the way out here. The main Let's... entrance to sector seven is buried under rubble now. So how are we supposed to get back inside? Underground passage in the park. Ah, uh, good plan. But how do we get to the park? I know another way to get there. Aerith showed me before. <laughs> this ancient girl knows her stuff. Didn't mean anything by it. Okay, no loot to speak of, but that's okay. Um, so Barrett seems to think that uh, there's a possibility some people are still alive. Based on what we know, Jesse was pretty much dead. Biggs was pretty much dead. Both of them already before the plate collapsed. And they were on the pillar. So I don't see how they're possibly alive. And then the cut, the cut scene, the cut scene showed basically Wedge all but get crushed by the debris. So I'm not all that optimistic, but maybe there's still some hope. The game at least wants us to think that there might be. So who knows? I guess only one way to find out. Can we get back there? No, I just wanted to sell my Moogle medals. Okay, so we're going to have to go this way, I guess, right? No, that's back towards the station. We want to go this way, is it? I can't remember which way it is, to be honest. Um, so we came from there, that's Aerith's house. So I think it's down this way. Yeah. So let's see how it decides to route us. Do have to go through that same spot where all those little crane arms were to get there? My ears are still ringing from it. Okay, should be right around the corner here. Over there. Yep. I guess this is, uh, I guess I do have to go through that spot where all those crane arms were, maybe. Anything in here? Nope. Nothing. Hopefully there's a shortcut of sorts. All right, let's keep moving. All right, maybe not. Guess we're just going to take the long way. I wonder if there's like new loot and treasures and stuff, or if since I already got at least what I think is everything, or at least most of it, on the first pass through. Up. Gotta fight these scrubs again. Oh, level up. I have to do it. Uh, I guess I already got the ladders down last time, so hopefully it won't. It'll be a quick pass through. Okay, it looks like, yep, treasures are already done. Just want to keep my eyes peeled in case they decide to throw something new down here so I don't miss it. Some new materia or a new treasure, something like that. Okay, recovered MP. Don't think I needed that, but alas. It's blocked. Duh. Mm. There, that way. We'll have to fight our way through. But it's our only shot. Okay, is this a new area that we have yet to explore? Okay, yep, guess so. Because, uh. 
Nts. Give me that techno beat. Nts, 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 nts. Um. This is actually really catchy music. <laughs> I like how there's some variety. Like, it's not all orchestrated. There's some, like, electronic stuff and... Uh, some, 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 like... I think I... One of the boss themes was, like, metal. So there's a lot of variety in this soundtrack. I like it a lot. I can't wait to, like, listen to it all the way through. You ready? Oh, is this a new enemy? I I'm going to set Ring Maw. Yeah, I'm going to assess it. Let's do it right. Go back. Okay, weak to ice. I don't really care. I'm just going to wail on him and do some overcharge. And kaboom. Should do a high potion. Keep it simple. All right. Trying to figure out, so it looks like both sides loop around. I just want to make sure I catch everything to see so I don't mo miss anything. Ah, I think I remember these from the original game. I'm going to assess. Oh, maybe not. Actually, I want Tifa, not Barrett. Staggered. All right, I want to go back to Cloud so I can get his ATB. Okay. Did I just get a Chadley quest? The stagger effect, I believe it's called. All right, let's make sure there's nothing on this path before we proceed. Negative. Okay. I think I got one of Chad. Yep. Two of Chadley's quests are now done. Stagger effect part four. And assess 20 enemy types. So now I just need is to um, activate refocus one more time. And that's good for all of his current quests. Oops, Cloud got stunned. I want Tifa. Do her star shower attack, which does stupid damage. Good grief, that's awesome. Just like that, okay? I got ya. I want to assign Tifa as my party leader. I like Cloud a lot too, and Barrett for that matter, but Tifa is just my fave in this game. Okay. Uh, gonna loop back here, see. Nope, nothing for me back here. Just a useless little detour. Oh. A sweeper and a smog machine, dude. Focus. You're up. All right, whoops, I'm already Tifa. Sweeper prototype. All right, let's do some star shower. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, he's trying to poison me. You can't poison me. All right, Barrett. You gotta heal up my Tifa. Oh, too slow. All right, Phoenix, down it is. All right, now I just gotta be able to heal her before she dies again. All right, you heal Tifa. There we go. All right, let's go back to Tifa. All right, I'm gonna use Barrett from afar to heal up Cloud. And I'm actually gonna keep using him just to use Thunder, because I know this guy's gonna be weak to Thunder. Looks like Barrett's poisoned as well. All right, Thundara. Get that stagger. I'm gonna go back to Tifa. Oh, Tifa. Okay, limit break first. Thanks for the auto cure, Barrett. All right, let's keep the pressure on this guy. Materia level up for healing. Oh, where are you going? Is he gonna blow up? What's he doing? I'm just gonna heal up while I have the opportunity. All 
There we go. Perfect. He's dead. Okay. Couple bumps and bruises, but nothing. Oh, I forgot about that. I spoke too soon. But still, I guess instead of a couple, a few bumps and bruises, but nothing too horrible. See, Barris MP is in dire straits. I'm going to use Tifa to do the next heal. Um, okay. Let's keep going. Oops, I'm going to check just to make sure I didn't miss anything in this little area. All right, looks clean. Slide on down. Okay, which way to go here? Another Moogle medal. All right, looks like this is a dead end. Maybe he has a bench or something for me. Or a treasure chest. Okay, I'll take that. A heavy duty bracer. Okay, let's see. Who's this going to go on? So currently, ooh, three materia slots. Ah. Okay, so what does this do to my stats? It gives me more defense and magic defense. All right. I'm going to give Tifa the... Whatever that limit break is, refocus. Because I just need one, one more use of it to... Uh, complete Chadley's quest. Oh. All these stupid little bandits. All right, overkill, but see ya. More of them, okay. Up oh, Tifa's. All right, adios. Nothing to it. Alrighty, more bandits. <laughs> oh, that can get interrupted. Okay. Hey, you don't steal my kill. You give that back. Oh, no. There's the last man standing here. All right, Tifa's back in action. All right, staggered. And is there more? Oh, there's one more. Okay. Star strike. And done. You're good at this. <laughs> Told you. All right, so is this a dead end? Yep, there's a treasure chest out here. How's my party doing on HP? Should be all right. Bottle of ether. Hopefully I'll come across a rest spot soon though. Okay, so. Let us press onwards up. Oh. More of these dudes. Oh, got the stun. Stop stealing my money. It's not cool. Oh, there's another one of the big guys. Oh, I can use Barrett's, uh, once he gets back on his feet. I can use his uh, focus shot. Let's see, I'll use it on this guy. There we go. All right, let's go back to Tifa. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, you don't mess with me. Oh, now you mess with me too much. Thanks for the spot, Barrett. Get that stagger. Nice little body slam. I'll give it to you. All right. Triple slash. Triple slash. You're better than this. All right. Got to lick my wounds here. Oops, 
I want cure. Uh. And one on Tifa for good measure. All right, treasure chest. Orb of gravity. Finally, those assholes were really getting Whoa. on my nerves. Did not mean to do that. Okay, more of these little slug fellows. Hey, you get off there. Oh, was that enough to kill him? Uh, hey. Uh, there we go. Dude, the double, triple slash. We make a decent team. Who thought, huh? That we do. I agree. Okay, so is this where it rejoins the main path, I guess? Over there. Huh? That way out. I'm almost afraid to go back. Just yep. Tifa. Uh. Come on. We're gonna run into uh, Mr. Cornero again. All right. Hey guys. Does it look like we can go this way? No. There's monsters in here. No, we're not going to Wall Market. We're going to Sector Seven. That's right. Okay. Or what's left of it? Hey guys. You're alive. Still in one piece. Who else made it out? I wish I knew. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. I'm just glad you survived. Gives me hope for the others. Hmm. This is bad. <sighs> I don't even know where to start. Okay. Looks like we got some uh, merchants here. This is bad. I really hope that all my friends are okay. I'm sure they are, honey. Don't worry. This is bad. This is bad. We need able-bodied men and women. All right. Yeah. You see, I know it's not much, but it's all I got. Let's see what we got here. Big Bertha. So it ups his physical, downs his magic. Ooh. Give me that jazz, yo. Gothic bangle, magician's bracelet for four materia slots, but decreased defense. Heavy duty bracer, that's what Tifa's got. And sorcerer's armlet. I guess the uh, magic version of the heavy duty bracer. I might pick a couple of these up. So the gothic bangle has three. Um, it might be the most well-rounded. So the only good part about that one is it gives you four slots. Um, so this will take Cloud's magic down. Barrett's magic will go up. And this takes... Everybody, so this is the balanced. All right, we're definitely getting Big Bertha. Um, I'm just gonna give everybody heavy duty bracers. Well, 
On second thought, I'm gonna go for Gothic Bangles, and they're cheaper. All right. Um, uh, ma, 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 same accessories. I'm good on that. Godspeed. Okay, what have Never we here? Never you're gonna run into out there. Best be prepared. All right. Nice jazzy version of On Our Way. Careful out there. Better than nothing. I will say I am somewhat surprised I've not come across enemy skill yet. Because I know that materia is in this game. And this is, I believe, where you find your first enemy skill in the original. Which is why I'm like looking around here trying to find it. But I, I don't know. I guess it's not here. And I, I'm already in chapter 13. So I'm surprised I have not uh, seen it yet. Before I forget, I'm going to throw on my new equipment. So titanium bangle becomes gothic bangle. And same for Barrett, where he had a, even older armor on. Okay. Got some extra materia slots to work with. Um, and Barrett now has Big Bertha. Maximum Fury, consume all ATB charges to fire a long stream of bullets at an enemy. So, I'm going to have some upgrading to do for this weapon. Let's see, on his old weapon, he's got four slots. Before I move it, I'm going to upgrade it and see if I can get a fourth slot so all my material will just carry over. Um, all right, see what we can do with Big Bertha. I know I can do this automatic thing, but I just don't know how exactly it's going to prioritize things. I like the idea of customizing it a little bit more than just having the game do it for me, because I don't know. I always like to get the materia slots first when they're available. Um, okay, so now, oh, this makes materia easy to update. I didn't even know about this. Um, what does Aerith have on her? She has Barrier, Prayer, and HP up. I'm going to give him Barrier. The one that was on Aerith. And I'm going to give Cloud... Steel. Okay. I think we're good. Let's see what's on the other side. All right, this is a new area. Use some fresh air. See where this takes us. Uh oh. Not the place I'd want to be. You can rest easy, folks. We can assure you. Sector six is right over there. We just need to walk a little bit longer. That's all. Over. 
All right, see any treasure? Negative. All right, so I wonder where this takes us. That one was a lot closer. Hello! Is there anyone out there that needs some help? Don't give me the warm fuzzies, that's for sure. Anything to do. Been back to the bar yet? No. Maybe you should go take a look. <clears throat> okay. First the bar, then the rest. Careful. The roads are a mess. Watch your step or you'll wind up in a hole. Okay, how the bar Anybody would still be there? intact after this is completely beyond me. That was materi for a sec. Just a light bulb. Tifa. Wedge's cat. What? Let's follow it. My boy Wedge, you in there? Ready? One, two, three. All right, where are you taking us, kitty cat? My boy Wedge okay somehow. Is this all that's left of Wedge's place? All right, big hole in the ground. Hop down. There we go. Hey, we're coming down. Stay right where you are. This place reeks of Shinra. Okay, what have we down here? Wedge? Wedge! See Wedge? I don't see Wedge. There he is. What on earth? Don't 
Tifa! Cloud! Shout if you can hear me! Hey! Destroying obstacles to progress. If a search scope appears when you are in control of Barrett, that means there's a destructible object nearby. Look around for target icons or press square to blast the marked obstacle and clear the way forward. Note that obstacles cannot be destroyed with a melee weapon equipped. If there's no path, you gotta make one. Okay, well, maybe there's some hope for uh, for Wedge after all. I'm going to heal up, check out the vending machine. Mega potions. Uh, nah. All right, nothing new. All right. That being said, I think we're going to call it right here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been an interesting chapter, and I am intrigued to see what this area has in store because it is a brand new area. And uh, maybe our boy Wedge is in uh, okay shape after all. But to find out, we're going to have to wait till next time. So you guys take care, and I will see you in the next one. Adios.